Next thing I'm going to talk about is probably the most important. It's the critical events that could potentially save your life if you're ever in that life-threatening situation where you're in a vehicle accident with a utility pole with down power lines. First thing you want to do is just relax. Catch your breath, grab your cell phone, and call 911. They have a direct dial into our operations center, and we can make sure that people are dispatched to you as soon as possible. Breathe, relax, and wait for Smeco to come on scene, de-energize the lines, and tell you that it's safe. Sometimes you don't have that luxury of just time to wait around. Sometimes your car might catch on fire and you have to perform some immediate actions. In that event, what I'm going to ask you to do is put your car into drive or reverse and try to move your entire car off of that line at least 30 feet away. Remember earlier I talked about a bird on a wire? If you have lines across your car, you're essentially that bird on a wire. So you want to take your entire car, drive it away at least 30 feet, and never return under any situation. Lastly, sometimes you might go put it in drive or in reverse, and the car just goes clunk clunk and you're done. You can't, you, the car's on fire, it won't move, you need to do something specifically. That's when you need to go from that bird on a wire to completely isolated from that energized conductor. To do that, try to get a firm footing. If you're in a sedan, try to kick out the back window, get on the trunk. If you're in a pickup truck, kick out the back window, get in the bed. Or at the bare minimum, try to get on the seat of a car with the car doors open. You're going to cross your arms in front of your chest because you don't want to make contact with the car and the ground at the same time. Cross your arms in front of your chest and you're going to leap. Now when you leap, it's not critically important that you have a lot of distance between you and the car. The most important thing is that you have your balance and you have your feet land at the ground at the same time. Because remember I talked earlier about that ripple effect? You don't want to put one foot on one ripple, one foot on another ripple. You'll essentially bridge that gap between different potentials. What you want to do is land both feet on the ground, maintain your composure. Then you're going to shuffle your feet. This is the only way to avoid that possible step potential. Shuffle your feet without lifting your soles off the ground. Critical distance, 30 feet. Once you're 30 feet away from that, you can start to walk away. Call 911 if you haven't done already. Um, but don't go back to that car under any circumstances. First responders do not approach cars with energized conductors on them because they do have that step potential value up to 30 feet. You might just essentially become um, another victim as well. So just wait for Smeco to ensure that the lines are de-energized.